Hello everybody, SB Slayer here, and welcome to the Backrooms Eternal. This is a mod that I found while looking for like mods for a mod review. And uh it looks really cool actually. Um got like all nine of the original levels plus le plus level fun and uh the end and also level thirteen. So yeah, lots of dedication here. I don't know what type of world generation they're using. Um but it works. You know? Uh though I will say, uh mod developer, if you're watching this, there, there there's there's a bug um that stops me from entering your back rooms the way that was intended. <laughs> um every time I try to suffocate, it kills me. Like, it teleports me to the dimension and then kills me in that dimension and sends me back. Uh, yeah, because it spawns me inside of a wall inside your dimension. But yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff in this, as you can see. A lot of this is, like, food you can get or craft. Because apparently you can craft a lot of this. Uh, but yeah, you can get, like, these from crates and stuff, like, on level 1 and onward. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... Use the slash execute command to actually check out the dimensions, because again, I can't enter them on this world. And I've tried multiple worlds. <laughs> I might just have bad luck. And I'm doing the command wrong, like a fucking idiot. Don't mind me. Say, if you're having the issue, I am, just use this command, slash execute in, say, level zero, run, tp. And just teleported. Hey, it didn't spawn me inside a wall this time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, here we are in level zero. As you can see, it's kind of loud here. But uh, yeah, it's level zero is actually pretty good. And oh, well, I wasn't expecting to run into this. This is actually the way out right here. Uh, I just accidentally stumbled upon it. I'm surprised. But yeah, as you can see, level zero. You know, basic manila, you know, yellow wallpaper ever. What are you? Oh, you're a wormling. Yeah, there are entities in this. Uh, they don't seem to overspawn, which is nice considering a lot of mods for some reason. Their entities overspawn in their back rooms. But we're just going to enter this and see. I believe this should take us to level one. Yep. Alright, so yeah, we're in level 1 now. This level 1's actually pretty nice. Also, if you break these in survival mode... Um... You get things. See, like, melon... Lots of different goodies. And I need to... Game mode creative... It's off. Basically. But yeah, um, we're going to see if we can find the next exit while I show off this level zero. Oh yeah, I had to punch this out. By the way, mod developer, you're d these want to spawn everywhere. It's annoying and makes it impossible to traverse the level. <laughs> um, I, don't, I really don't know what world generation type you're using. I've done, like, this type of thing before in a mod that I never actually released. And I used clearly a different mod gener world generation type because I never got blocked off doorways. <laughs> uh, I will have to actually make an actual backrooms mod and see if I can figure out what the fuck is going on here. Yeah, there's there's an entire section here that you can't go through unless you punch through the wall. Which I feel like is kind of counterintuitive to how the backrooms works. But yeah, uh, oh! Oh yeah, there's these freaking bases that you find, and you can tell someone tried to, like, break out, because there's holes up to the ceiling to bedrock. That's kind of cool. I like the, I like the little bit of, uh, storytelling there. Great work, mod developer. Love it. Love that there's also, like, dirt to tell you, hey, this is a survivor's fucking thing. It came from the overworld. But yeah, this isn't one of those. Apparently... 
the, the fucking exit spawned here. Uh, yeah, this is a level fun. I discovered this earlier. You go up here and, uh, there's the way to level fun. But yeah, we're gonna not do that. We're gonna, we're gonna not do that one first. We're gonna save that one a little bit. Um, because I am curious if I can find an exit to level two. Where is an exit to level two? If we can't in the in a few minutes or a few seconds, I'm gonna just go to level fun, show that off, and then just use slash execute to teleport to level two. For a few reasons. Mostly time, though. All right, let's go exploring a little fun real quick. Second. And I've already lost the exit. Yay. Love that. I'm dumb as shit. There it is. Okay, I don't see anything else. Another exit to level. That is another exit to level fun. No, oh, that's the one I found, isn't it? Or do these just always spawn near. No, they don't spawn near survivor hideouts. That's interesting. So I just got weirdly lucky with that one spawning next to one. Alright, that's kind of cool. I like the generation a bit. But yeah, also, why is there an entire world around here? You don't need this. I will make an M Creator mod with, like, Backrooms generation and show you that you don't need this entire thing around here. It's actually surprisingly simple too, and it works really well. My friend Barcat figured it out. It's amazing. But yeah, I've, I've come to realize most people don't use that type of generation, which shocks the hell out of me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're going to walk through here. And, uh, now we're on level fun. Everything gets really loud. Oh my god, I forgot how loud this world is. But yeah, I'm just gonna show this off a little bit, and then we're gonna get the fuck out of here, because I can barely hear myself speak. Um, so yeah, as you can see, level fun has, like, these party tables and all that shit. Cake. We have the presents. And of course we have... Oh god, I can hear them. They're so loud. Hold on, I need to bring down my volume. God, they are so fucking loud. <laughs> but yeah, it has these fucks. Party goers. And yes, this does use the Gecko Lib. But there's also this. Which is, uh, if we touch it. The exit to level the end. Now, there's no actual way out of here as far as I found. Watch me stumble upon an exit here. <laughs> Which I swear to God, if I do, I will be so confused. I looked around here for a good, like, 20 minutes in testing. <laughs> Could not find it. Uh, but yeah. Ah, oh, there's the end. Yeah, as you go a lot around here, there's, like, randomly generated all sorts of things. It's honestly really cool. I like the look of this. I feel like it could be more, though. Not gonna lie. This here is probably one of the cooler rooms. In all honesty. Alright, it looks really good though. But yeah, um... Uh, next, we should probably go check out the next level. So we're gonna go back up to our slash execute command. We change that from 0 to 2. And we're gonna run. And now we're on level two. Uh, so yeah, um... Did an exit really spawn just right here? That's like two feet from the entrance. Oh boy. That's another exit.
Okay, exit spawning might be a little, a little too easy for a level two. But as you can see, it's just narrow hallways going in each direction. Nothing much to show. So we're just going to go off into the thing. And also, I haven't really been addressing the mobs other than, like, the wormling. But yeah, there's facelings, there's smilers, there's insanities. Which, thank fuck there's insanities. I actually really like the concept of insanities from the back rooms. And, oh, is that a hound? Or is it a... No, it's a clump. Yeah, they have clumps. Do I have brightness down or something? Hold on. Yes, it is. Bright it is. Oh, yeah, clump. And Smiler. Yeah, that's a Smiler. They're, 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 they're kind of creepy. Now, let me see if I can find an insanity real quick while we're in here, because there's a high spawn rate of mobs in here. I think I hear one somewhere. I think there's a wall somewhere. Yep. Insanities. If you don't remember what these are, these are like infected survivors. I went insane. If you go insane in the back ends, you become one of these. <laughs> that was basically the premise, which is honestly a cool premise, because I could see a lot of stories like dealing with that, and I loved that. I had a lot of ideas that would pertain to that. In all honesty, because I had a lot of like roleplay ideas that I wanted to do. But yeah, I hate that they removed it from the wiki. But yeah, I know there's, I know it's like on the fandom wiki, but it's not on the big wiki dot. Pretty sure insanities just don't exist on that. But yeah, here's one of the exits. I found this earlier in testing. Uh, this one leads to level four. I do believe. Yeah, there's the fucking spawning thing. <laughs> Yeah, it spawns me in and then teleports me into the actual back rooms area. But as you can see, there's lots of goodies. Greasy, greasy marshmallows. Lucky yo milk strawberry. Lucky yo milk choco gold. Almond waters. And uh yeah, this is the this is level four. You got like these survivors hatches. Also, another thing, after dress. Um, you're gonna need to change this door to cut out MIPT if you're watching, uh, my developer. It's having a it's having an issue. <laughs> yeah, just just change the uh, transparency to cut out MIPT in M Creator. You you you'll know you'll know what I mean. It's under the transparency values. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, level four, pretty fucking cool. I still like the look. I feel like the rooms should be a bit bigger. But all honesty, it, it, it looks fine. It looks fine, but again, the room size is just bigger, I would suggest. But it's up to you. Each their own. But yeah, um. God, I swear someone in the comments is gonna be like. Well, how do you know what do, what's right and what's wrong? I will make a fucking backgrounds mod if someone ever complains that. I will prove I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I am not afraid to put my money where my mouth is. The other reason I haven't made a backgrounds mod yet is because it's it's gonna take a while. And in all, in all honesty, I'm already working really hard on the FNAF mod and now the SCP mod. This is just an exit to level 3 again, isn't it? Every time I come to this, I can't find the exit to level 5. I've looked. I'm gonna... I'm gonna F3 N real quick and see... There... There's another survivor's base. I don't see the exit to level 5. I see another exit to level 3. Another exit to level 3. Yeah, I can't find the exit to fucking level 5. But yeah, we're not going to go to level 3. These exist. You can go back to level 3 if you want to. Uh, But yeah, we're going to... <coughs> we're going to... 
use this to go to level 5. And continue onward. <laughs> with showing off the back rooms. So yeah, this is level 5. I actually like it. Looks really nice. Again, though, rooms could be bigger, but to each their own. If this is the design you decided to go with, go right ahead. But yeah, uh... <clears throat> something is in my throat. I don't know what it is. It's just tickling like the back of my throat. I'm sorry for the coughs. <laughs> I think it's going to have been talking, like, non-stop. This entire video is so my throat's becoming dry. Also might be something from the fact that I've been working all day. I had to re replace a roof today, so it's just a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I will suffer with the sore throat to make content for you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> like, legitimately, the back of my throat feels like a fire. Why does it feel like that? <clears throat> Uh, I hate it. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, level 5 looks pretty fucking good. I honestly love it. And also, these female death mods are really cool in all honesty. I like, I like their look. Although, as a modeler, that Z fighting at the top is bugging the hell out of me. <laughs> But yeah, um, I suppose we should move on to level 6, which I can't seem to find the fucking exit to this level ever. So, I'm just gonna move on to level 6 real quick. So yeah, welcome to level 6. Welcome to pure pitch black darkness. But yeah, um, as you can see, there's mobs everywhere. All sorts of them. And oh, what is what is this? Is this the exit? Oh, did, that that that's back to level five. Was that supposed to happen, or I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I just stumbled upon a red pool and it brought me back here. Um, well, I guess we found an exit to level five on accident. Hold on. Um, let's just <clears throat> let's just go to level seven since we've already seen level six. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot in these, which I honestly really like because they're back rooms levels. There should be a lot in them. Ow! Why am I so laggy in this dimension? Uh, but yeah, welcome to level seven. It does in fact function. There's a boat in this chest. Useful because as you can see. This is the infinite. Infinite ocean. And I would imagine this boat is excessively helpful. In, uh, getting across these waters. But yeah, uh, there's not much up here. There's stuff underwater, but it's a fucking swim and a half, and I don't feel like showing you guys. Uh, it's basically just more of that starting room, just altered a bit. Um, I'm not sure if they're even supposed to spawn that in there. I think they're supposed to be spawning above the water. But something went wrong with our spawning, and now they don't want to do that. But yeah, we're going to go to the next level real quick, because it's just Infinite Ocean. By the way, the name of this level is actually just called Thalassophobia, so... You know, kind of on-the-nose way of saying, Hey, you fear water, this is your nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go to level 8 now. And why am I in... Where's the level? Oh, wait, am I above it? I'm above it, okay. Yeah. So yeah, level 8, as you would expect, is literally cave world. <laughs> I see he's decided to give a uh, cave spider the spawn right here. But yeah, as you can see, the caves 
just giant caves. As far as the eye can see. I feel like some of these mo some of these entities shouldn't be spawning here, but that's fine. But yeah, um, there's not much to say about this one. It's just, it's just cave world, which you know, there's not much to say about level eight in general, other than cave world. Because that's what it is. It it's just cave world. It's all caves, as far as the eye can see. That's all level eight really needs to be. So I'm fine with that. <laughs> But yeah, um, let's move on to level 9, which is far more interesting just than just Cave World, which... Honestly, the way it's made is more interesting than the actual world. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <clears throat> oh, what's that voice crack? But yeah, um... Welcome to level 9! The Infinite Neighborhood. Also, yes, there's watchers. I actually, I actually really like their model. I think they look really nice. Uh, but yeah, welcome to level nine, where nightmares will haunt your dreams forever, <laughs> and you will probably die a very painful death by the hands of a watcher or something. But yeah, there's like cookie cutter houses. It's got a few different colors of them. All of them are you like using these tinted glasses. So that's honestly a really cool touch. Um Yeah, there's oh yeah. There's there's this. Like something from level ten. Like straight up just spawned here. But it doesn't work. Almond grain. Oh, yeah, there's also almond grain. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if this works. Yeah, no, it just teleports you out of the dimension because level 10 isn't in this yet. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to get out, just make it to level 9 and go through the portal. <laughs> if you can find that structure. So, yeah, um... Level 10 isn't in here, but level 13 is. So we're going to go really quick and visit that. And I seem to have spawned inside of one of the apartments. But yeah, as you can see, it's just an infinite apartment complex. Not much else to it. You gave Slow Falling 2 for far too long, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah... What is going on here? Oh, entrance to level three. All right. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess we're going to just uh, leave these worlds uh, real quick. And we're going to sign off real quick. But uh, yeah. Uh, where? Oh my god, I just don't want to give you the option. Just fucking type it in yourself. There we go. Uh, but yeah. Where, get, give me to the service, please. God damn it. <laughs> uh, get out of here. There we go. But yeah, I hope everyone did. I hope everyone did enjoy. If it was to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. The link to the uh, mod will, of course, be in the description, and I hope to see you all next video, live stream, or the next. Peace, guys.